Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 383. I am freaking out. I'm Neil. I'm Annalise. I don't know what it, the fuck I'm doing right now. <laughs> I feel mild about it. I, I like uh, it. I'm, I'm good to go. We're oh, good uh, to go. Good oh, to go. <laughs> we're a, we, a weekly podcast. We're a married couple. God, I sound so weird. Just turn yourself down. I, I'm sinking. Just for you. I'm, turn yourself everything's down. Everything's freaking. Just buy yourself oh. a new chair. No doubt, Cheapskate. Hey, man, why are you talking so much? Why, 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 why are you, why you out there like talking? playing with Tesla hubcaps? Meanwhile, you cheap out on a chair. Well, I'm cheaping out because of the Tesla hubcaps. I, <laughs> uh, we're a weekly podcast. We're a married couple. We live in California. We have brand new microphones, which sounds so seductive. <laughs> They're awesome. However, I'm so Tasty confused about biscuits. what to do because we were using <laughs> headphone things. Which we that still have. had the mic thing, which are now going to retire to our gaming setup. <laughs> but this sounds, it like, it sounds, oh, it is. sounds too professional. Say, this sounds too professional. It sounds too weird. Not that anyone who's listening will notice a difference, but for me, and then like half of my eyeball is camera looking one. at a, camera two, camera one, camera two, is looking at a yeah. microphone thing. I know. I'm trying real hard to not move to the side so it's I can weird. get a better look Isn't at you. Isn't it weird? Because but... I'm so used to being able to like move over here and talk <laughs> and, the and, mic, that, yeah. and it doesn't work. Yeah. This is, I mean. Well, like every time we change the setup, we'll get used to it. Professional podcasters are idiots. <laughs> That's all I have to I say. I believe that professional podcasters have people that just do that for them and then they just show up. So, you know. It looks, this whole setup looks cool now. It's weird too because it's, they're like, Way quieter than the other ones. Like when we're not yeah. talking, I, I don't hear You're shit. Sta- there's no static or anything. I, I, man. What are you going to do? I'm sinking. I am <laughs> fucking sinking again. Do you need a pillow? Do you want to get a butt pillow? I'm going to have to get a booster chair for this. I know. I can talk while you go get a butt pillow. No, that's fine. I'll just. Are you sure? Yeah. You're just going to wiggle I, I around? I am going to need a new You're chair. You're just going to wiggle around the whole time? <laughs> I'm sinking as we talk. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to stay low yeah. today. You just I have to adjust. Oh, I have to adjust your mic accordingly. I know. So, uh, yeah. So, if anyway, you're listening for doing? the first time, we What's very happening? much appreciate it. I'm way too loud in my head, so I got to turn this down. As you wish. Um, I already said who we are. So what we're doing. Say, talked about oh, our mics. Yeah. So my, so my and my chair is broken, so right. the piston doesn't work, and I'm I'm slowly <laughs> sinking. Right, and he's obviously upset about it. I'm if, not. If happy. that is not clear, he's very upset about his broken chair. These so. mics are insane. <laughs> um, we posted a picture of the new mic setup on Instagram. If anybody cares, take a look. Um, uh, I I don't know what what I'm doing. Okay, well, just leave it. Stop touching it. Maybe stop touching it. I can't it. stop. Don't touch it. Maybe if I go like this, maybe okay. that'll make me. Or, nope, nope. Or just keep touching work. it. All right. Just go the opposite way. Just keep touching it. All right, forget okay. it. Let's just get into it. Now, now my nose is. Now my nose. Look, I'm sinking. Now my nose is on it. <sighs> oh. Oh, that was that impressive. Was weird. That <laughs> yeah, was is that weird? weird? Okay. We're like little. We're like little kids who were given the keys <laughs> to the family car done for the like first time. A trial. Probably. Sewed. Trial sewed. <laughs> so. It's anyway. so weird. So fit. So fit. All right. Okay. 383 this time for real. <clears throat> for I'm real. Not Let's get into it. God, that sounds so weird. Okay. So we sound so I have like something to say big. right off the cuff. Are you ready? Uh, off the cuff? Off the cuff, oh, off the shit. bat. Am I too close to my microphone? No, you tell me that I'm not close enough. So how are you too close? I don't know. I think I'm I think I'm oh, sucking for it. Fuck's sake. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just very confused. <laughs> Hello. I'm going to start I'm just going to keep it like, is it okay if I just keep it like this? If it sounds like crap, let us yeah, know. Yeah, it's fine. It's I'm fine. I'm sinking. You're fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Everything's how, fine. Look at how low I am. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to sink all the way down so I don't. I feel so big. So I don't. Thank you for that. I, I am I've never huge. heard that before in my life, <laughs> unfortunately. What? I said I, I'm, not no, you. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I've never, I've never heard you feel so big. Oh. I, I've always heard the, oh, you fit just right. Uh, screw that. I know what that means. Come on now. <laughs> You're perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, All right. Off the cuff. Off the cuff. Okay. So I wanted to say that um, I have been very out of the loop or out of touch. I don't know how it is. I totally what? forgot to do my five favorite mall foods. I'm going to do them now real quick. But I thought you did. I thought that's what you were doing in here. I, I totally forgot. You know what I was doing in here instead? 
Playing with the chair? I don't, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Playing with these mics? Probably. <laughs> Phoning a friend? <laughs> might, might have been. I need, uh, I'm going to try this. Oh, oh. Oh, how are you doing, ladies? Uh, how do you like that? <laughs> That's kind of fun. All right. We should, <gasps> this what? is the perfect opportunity for you to People are read. listening right now. We haven't said a fucking thing. It's been five minutes. I know. And people are like, what do they do? What, no, no. what do they do? We'll come back to it. We do nothing. Um, you, this is a perfect opportunity for you to do one of your readings. One of your like song oh, the lyrics. lyric readings? Yeah. Oh, I don't have any lyrics. It sounds so we'll good. Do it. Next we'll time. do it next week. <laughs> next time. In a world. Next time. Our dark angels are pretty freaks. In a world <laughs> that's dark and cold. <laughs> okay, okay. Stop. We'll, we'll mess around on our own time later. Okay. When your vibrator is out of batteries. <laughs> your desperate times. Okay, so I... So until we talked about it a few days ago, I didn't realize today was the Super Bowl. And we were talking about, I think, going to Costco today, which we did do, by the way. And I was, and I can't remember, but you were talking about how like, oh, well, maybe it won't be busy because the Super Bowl. And I was like, oh, the Super Bowl? I, I, I am sorry to mm. interrupt your story. We did not go to Costco today. I went to Costco yesterday. Okay. Right, 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 right. Fair enough. But, we, but I'm just saying that's how it came up. Like, that's how, like. I think the Super Bowl idea and I didn't actually realize it was the Super Bowl and I'm not trying to be like, I don't care about the Super Bowl. I'm so cool. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that like, I'm just didn't really notice for better or worse. I didn't, mm-hmm. didn't really notice that it was the Super Bowl today. And up until about an hour ago, like mm-hmm. I couldn't help see all the social media posts from like our friends and things like that. I had no idea who was playing. <laughs> so I didn't even know that. Well, I think you knew the Eagles were playing. So I didn't know the Eagles were playing until today when I saw our friend Sean post about it, who's a big Eagles fan, and then Roy McElhaney. But I I told you last week that I texted, um, two weeks ago, that I texted Shawan to congratulate him that the Eagles beat the Niners. But I didn't, I do remember that. Oh, but, you just didn't know that was the game to go uh, to? Yes. The, I got you. I wasn't. Okay. I didn't realize. I knew that the 49ers had been like um, going into like at some point I knew the 49ers were like in the playoffs or something, but I just didn't do any math or any paying attention after that point. Mm -hmm. So um, I just thought it was that you would think it's funny as like a football fan as well as um, for me in general that like normally I'm at least somewhat cognizant. (laughs) Just bring it around town. Bring it around town. (laughs) We should have recorded this. Video live. We totally should have. This is hilarious. <laughs> the video is probably funnier than the podcast, just so you know. Um, but anyway, I just think that as a normal person who pays attention to things and social media, that I had no idea today was the Super- <gasps> shit palace. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm, I can't. <laughs> I can't leave don't. well enough alone. Just Here, use this. Come on, man. More. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Neil this just is, spilled a portion of, of his drink. This on is the- one of the issues that I have <laughs> with stuff is I can't just leave it well enough alone yeah. and just let we it go. We kept discussing that you were going to leave it alone and, and then I you can't. didn't. And, and then you even moved my mic while I was talking, <laughs> I which kind of weirds me out. I'm so sorry. if you could. And, and then just... the other problem is because of my head injuries oh, and, and, stuff I, on and I've chair. had, a, I've had a beverage. I, <laughs> it's fine because of my head injuries. I, um, I, I'm now moving my mic for right. no reason. Okay, stop. I, I, I'm not very good with my dexterity anymore, so I just knock shit over all the time. <laughs> well, I think that the mic... I'm like a Great Dane puppy. The, yeah, for sure. This is all freaking me out. The mic is... Oh, hi. Did you just... Oh, that's me. Yeah. Did I do that? That was me. Is that um, better? Yeah. I um, The mic is distracting you, and then you went to move something, and you hit your drink. So you're just... You were distract. You um. were distracted... Nope, not. Hey, if you're still listening, we'd really like to say thank you. <laughs> Sorry in advance. Sorry about that. Distracted driving? No, distracted pod I'm setup. texting and podcasting at the same time. <laughs> all right. Go, I'm sorry. You were saying, so you didn't know about the Super Bowl. That's all I wanted to tell you. That oh. I thought that you would think it was funny that like I was just so like out of it and so into my soccer bubble <laughs> that I didn't notice the Super Bowl was happening. <laughs> you have become quite the soccer I, it's amazing to me. Like I'm so confused by this. I don't know. It's 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 my new jam. That's great. My mom. I'm into it. My mom texted me not too long ago and said, "Are you making uh, chicken wings?" 
Oh, and I'm because like, the yeah. Super Bowl. And I'm like, no, was I, I thought then I was supposed to make them for her. I thought that and I'm like, maybe, am I supposed to make them? Yeah. She goes, no, because of the Super Bowl. And I'm like, actually, I kind of forgot. I mean, I knew it was today, but right. I, I kind of forgot because I've been busy painting hubcaps. Um, <laughs> and I said, no, no. Uh, and we might not even watch it. I have no plans to watch the Super right. Bowl today. It might be on, a, um, on one of but the I TVs. Said, <laughs> we watched soccer this morning. And she goes, oh, that's much better. <laughs> uh, for those that don't know, uh, I'm I'm Argentinian. Mm-hmm. My mom was born in Argentina. Yes, I'm an anchor baby. And you're welcome. <laughs> and um so soccer is kind of part of our yeah. existence. And I don't push it on people. I never I mean you knew that I enjoyed soccer, but I never watched it a lot. I mean, I would check scores and mm-hmm. stuff. Um, There's a picture of me wearing your jersey like 3 years ago in yeah. the living room. Yeah. Yeah. The Argentina yeah. Argentinian dark blue mm-hmm. uh, national team jersey, and 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 then when Rex we, and we've talked about it, Rexham came out yeah. and you and you I, learn more about soccer and you're like, oh, that's kind of a neat sport. <clears throat> and so you've been really, really into it. Yeah, I, I just I've dived in, all in, mm-hmm. all in on that, and I still enjoy and watch NASCAR, but um, it hasn't been as exciting for me for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, but it hasn't been. A, as exciting for me in the past year or so. And so therefore I needed something else to focus on. And I also really like tennis, but it's hard for me because I don't know. Everybody's so young now and I don't know them. Don't, don't, don't. So you were watching, you were watching a uh, super G or giant slalom yesterday. Yeah. I didn't know you were into skiing. You I, don't ski. I enjoy it. I don't know. Very well, cool. it's not that I don't want to, I'm just not good at everything. You know, I've only snowboarded once and I've never skied. So, but you don't have to be, into doing it to watch it. No, but it was seemed exciting. It was good. It was a good time, and it was only like an hour. So no, it's I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm <laughs> as you, well. You've seen me watch, yeah, um, skiing events, and that is definitely something that I've gotten more into later in life, like more into sports and things like that. Like I, I would say probably when I was 25, I couldn't give a shit about any sport at all. But you know, I don't know if that's just my time of life or what's going on in my life or whatever, whatever. But well, I, I, I think sports is... Um, I was also I sports, never around sports when I was a kid, except for when I was playing them and I just played them for something to do. I know? think sports is kind of like for people like video games and comic books, uh, music. Like sometimes you're, that that's just the thing you're... In, you know, you're into a thing. Mm-hmm. And so these other things don't kind of... Like if... If usually if you're super into sports, that takes most of your time. Right. So you're not super into like other stuff. Right. And <clears throat> it, like, you know, I mean, now it does cross over. I, I'm into cars and I'm into sports and I'm into video games and all that. But when I was younger, like I didn't read comic books, not because I didn't think they were cool. It was just I was really into sports or right. riding bikes like bike was my big thing. So I don't really watch or follow a lot of cross country skiing because biking was my thing. <laughs> right. So I think it's just I think that it it's kind of like that. It's like you know you're into your thing, not because you're not into sports. Right. <laughs> I'm just hitting everything. Up. Well, I also think that does that also, make any sense? I, absolutely. I think it also depends on like what you're doing with your life at the time. Like obviously, I worked at a comic book store, for therefore I got super into comic oh, did books. You? I did this one did time. You? At band camp. Really? Yeah. So um, I got way more into it than I was before. And uh, I'm not as into it now, but that's because I'm not in it every single day, obviously. And it's, and there's not really comic book store around here either. So um, also there's um, like. Well, the comic thing, if I can interrupt here for a second, the comic book thing is interesting because when we used to listen to like graphic novice and all mm-hmm. that, I tried to get into the comic books to like, to have it be a thing because I knew you were into right. it. But even with that, it's almost like it seems like when you left the comic book store that your comic, I can't fucking stop touching shit, uh, <laughs> that that your comic book <clears throat> enthusiasm kind of went away. Um, a little bit. And I think I think that was almost maybe because of like oversaturation, because not only was did I enjoy comic books for sure. And I did. But it was also part of my job for a long time. So I couldn't um, like I had to read and keep up on things. 
And so I think that I was enjoying the break for what, you know, like, and I don't think that I was ready to get back into it, if that makes any sense. Yeah, you totally. know, like, um, because I spent so much time during like the four or five years um, reading comic books that I didn't have time to read like regular books. Although I did, like towards the end, I, you know, started to try to read less and I learned that I could like read while I was at work and things like that. So I started integrating more regular books back in. But um, I think that for lack of a better description, I was a little bit burnt, you know, and it's a, especially because they comic books come out and comic series come out so often that you have to keep up, you know, so like, it's a lot to keep up with if you're into it, which is really cool. And I think it's really great because that is a really cool way to get people to read and get people to read on a regular basis because, you know, their monthly comic book comes out or whatever it is. And that's really cool. But um, I think that I was just a little bit burnt and I don't think that I realized that at the time. But yeah. Anyway. Cool. <laughs> anyway, I, I just... Now I'm into soccer. Right. <laughs> but yeah. So I just... Uh, but you know what we're both really into? The puppy bowl. Oh. <laughs> That's not what I was thinking. We were, we're going to oh, go with well, that. Because we were just watching it and we paused it to do this. <laughs> well, I, I think people that have listened for a while like longer than two episodes. <laughs> right. Know that we're crazy dog people. Right. Well, we're crazy cat people too, but we just don't have cats right now. Currently, right. Uh, it's so it's, I would love to get it's one. Interesting it's interesting because not ready. it's not time yet. I think we people think of me as the crazy dog person, but I started out as an insane cat person. Like my <laughs> the first right. first pet I had on my own was a uh, was a cat and I absolutely adored that cat. <laughs> I treated the cat a little more like a dog than a cat. Right. Not exactly sure what that means. <clears throat> I just think I thought it was going to be more dog-like, and it ended up being more dog-like. Right. Um, but I think uh, a lot of people end up... Yep, yeah, okay. Speaking of dogs. Right. Uh-oh. Yeah, fair yep. enough. Um, that I'm more of, like... That I'm not into cats, but I actually really like. Yeah, like no. Your, yeah, you I mean, you love when my we cats. met. You had your your cats. They became our cats. But yeah, you loved I them. They them. loved you. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So I I miss not I miss having a cat. I very much miss having a cat. It just our puppy dog's not ready. I don't think maybe like another year. Yeah, he's I, I think almost that's... ready, but he's just he just doesn't know, he doesn't have that as we were talking about between ourselves. He doesn't have the spatial awareness. And he's just a, like um, <laughs> he's too he's too puppy still. Yeah. I mean, he's only two. Yeah, he, and he's too little bro dude. Like he just yeah. comes in barreling. And I think that I think when nine dies, he I think he would love a cat or another companion to play with because he's so playful and loving, and he loves. He's such a lover. But um, I think that he just doesn't know his own strength, and he just comes barreling in. And I think that there's a possibility that he could accidentally injure a smaller creature not meaning to obviously but and it's just a risk we're not ready to take yet and he, we're not there yet i think when nine when nine dies passes i'm not trying to be cold it just it's gonna happen right uh, and we get another because we're gonna start pairing or making our dogs we're not <laughs> making our dog small we're gonna rescue smaller, smaller dogs, dogs. <laughs> I think when when when, when nine we get old, goes we gotta be able to pick them up, <laughs> and we get a new uh, rescue puppy, I think mm-hmm. that would be a good time. Right, like right after the puppy kind of gets old enough to understand where it's at, that we also then get a kitten or mm-hmm. two kittens, and that way those younger ones can kind of be together, together yeah. and then Quattro will understand since everything's small. Right, I think would be. Better. Yeah, I think just in general, he needs to be a little older to learn what gentle means. <laughs> That's all. Mm-hmm. That's all. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> Talk about something on your list. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I thought. You, are we done with the comic book thing? Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. I don't know what's going on. Because it was just a segue from, uh, like, soccer and what you're into. And then we're watching the puppy bowl. And all the puppies are adorable. And I hope they all get adopted, which I'm sure they will. Can we talk about tattoos for a moment? Sure. I am going to see my sister um, the first weekend in April. Mm-hmm. I have not been... So my sister moved to Portland about eight years ago. Oh, that long? Seven, eight years ago. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we, we weren't here that long. Yeah. And... Um, 
So I, the first time I went to go visit her was uh, this past November when I was going up to see Matt to go to the Ducks game. And that was the first time. I, I, I never saw her first house in Portland. Right. Um, and they just, they moved to another house. They moved so, to another yeah. house. A, a really nice house. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very proud of my sister. Mm-hmm. Very proud of my sister. She's a smart cookie. Yeah, She's e- done a even good job. I, you know the funny thing is, she could probably be homeless <clears throat> and on the street, and I'd be like, "I'm so proud of her." She picks right. up more cans than anybody else, <laughs> and I could help her financially. I think everybody knows you love your sister, but but we need to have <laughs> more than one Tesla in the garage, so right. I can't really help her out. Right. You know, like get a job. Like I'm, right. I'm so bummed <laughs> no. about the earthquake and you know in Syria and stuff, and I'd no, love to give money. Come but come on, come on. You know, electricity isn't cheap here. I don't know what to do. I can't. I can't help everybody. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm very proud of my sister. She has. She has the perfect house for mm-hmm. her, which is great. Not exactly the house I, well, I want. Right. Um, it works great for them. Yes, but it's a beautiful house, mm-hmm. it? and um, so it was nice to go visit her. But I realized that I um, I want to spend more time with her. I mean, she's one of my best friends. We were extremely close, and. Uh, so you were nice enough to agree. And the difficulty is I want you to come, but it, it but it makes like an inexpensive trip very expensive and not that we can't afford it, but be, it becomes a whole thing. Like right. we have to take the dogs and board it, it the dogs. It means that both and, of us are taking time off work and then we have to make arrangements and take like an extra day to board the dogs and boarding the dogs is really expensive. Right. So, um, <clears throat> So yeah, I know it doubles the or just price. pull it a little closer. Yeah, it doubles yeah. the price of the trip, uh, maybe even more than double, because not only do we have to pay for the dogs, but then we have to pay for both of us to eat and drink and all of that too. So, which it's totally fine, but it's just not. It, it, it it's really easy when when you're cool with going like yeah, just freaking go. It's also a little different because you know when I hang out with my sister by myself versus. I can't stop touching all this shit. Um, versus the both of us, it's different. Like, uh, if I go up and we just sit in the living room for two days, I don't care. I just right. want to be around my sister. I think she would probably want to show you more. And I know she's very excited to have you up because you lived there for so right. long. And she lives there. And she wants to do, like, show me your favorite places and right. my favorite places. Right. Yeah, we've talked about of that. Of which we, right. we need to do. But... That'll be, we're going to plan that for next year. But anyway, it's it just kind of cool. Like, I just want to go hang out with my sister. So uh, that is planned for April. I don't know why I had to spend so much time talking about that. <laughs> but the the one thing is. Well, you talked about getting the tattoos. And well, that you went, that's, You got that's, tattoos the that's last it. time we you saw her. We got tattoos and so. I got to get my, my, the tattoo I got touched, touched up. up. Yeah. But I'm getting another tattoo. Oh. When I go up there. And I waited to tell you. Okay. Until the podcast. Uh, if, if you're upset about it, we I, I won't get it. No, no, please. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm I'm getting one on the back of my hand. Okay. Finally. Are, are you, is no, no, not please. okay with you? I'm just, I'm just you processing. Can tell, you no, can no, tell no. Me if, tell if me. It's not okay. But I've, I've always wanted hand tattoos, but right. it's, it's a little aggressive. Hand tattoos right. are aggressive. I'm an old guy now. Right. It doesn't fucking matter. Right. And you have I mean, you have your job that you're going to retire from. So and, and if I absolutely had to, I could retire now and I'd be fine. Right. <laughs> so um, suck it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Not That's right. not what I meant to say. Um, but on the back of my hand, on the zero side, mm-hmm. not the zero side, but the zero hand, I'm going to get the, the sun from the Argentinian flag. Oh, all right. I, you you know, know, I can't. It's up there. If you want to look at it, there's oh, an Argentinian no, flag it's, right there. It's closed. I can't see it. You can grab it. Yeah. No. You have to take off your headphones. Okay. You want me to grab it? I'll see, I see if I can reach because right. I'm short and I can't reach. You should be. I, I think you can get it. Just be careful because it's actually tucked in to the, the blinds. And if you pull it too hard, I think the blinds will fall down. They might. Oh, really? So Annalise is trying to get around, get no. over and around a, no. uh, my my no, speaker no. cabinet. It's a 412 cabinet. <laughs> you want me to get it? That's not going to happen. No, so you can just, oh, you know what I can do? You can just tell I me. Just, no. I, <laughs> I've got a fucking... Super expensive iPad <laughs> piece of iPad thing that I could show you what Fucking it looks Apple. like. <clears throat> Damn Apple! It's not Apple's fault. It's my fault because I thought you know I'm gonna I'm gonna reinvent the wheel here. <laughs> You're gonna redraw the wheel with yeah. that. All right. Do you want to talk for a second while I find this? And I, I, 
Uh, go ahead. I was just going to say that um, we have talked about you getting hand tattoos a few times in the past. And uh, as I've said before, I'm happy, you know, with whatever you want to do. That's totally fine. I mean, if, you, if you're not into no, it. No, no. I Again, I'm, I'm going to say what my thoughts were then and are still are. It's that not only are you beautiful in general. Oh, God. Let me talk. <laughs> you are very pretty and beautiful. Oh, that is really cool. And it's going to um, be just in black. It's not going to be yellow. Um, that you have beautiful hands. And so... Um, it'll it'll look more delicate on me than like... Well, also the tattoo artist you're using is super delicate. Mm-hmm. She has a delicate hand to her. She yeah, I don't know if she's a deli- delicate. Delicate style is what yeah, I'm saying. She's very Del- thin lines. Right. Very, very thin lines. She has lines. a very delicate style to her. Um, so, Do you like it or yeah, no? No, yeah. I just said yeah okay. before. I just can't hold it over here because it's too big and heavy. <laughs> Never heard that either. Um, but yeah, I so. Heard, oh, it fits just right in my hand. <laughs> no one, on. no one's getting a workout from this thing. Well, I don't think that's true at oh, all. Oh, are you done already? Okay. <laughs> well, Stop it. Come on. Will you at least make dinner? <laughs> so dinner? No. Mm-hmm. Um, no. So. Um, that's why I'm so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Pardon me. We should have filmed this one. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we can. I can. I can we can film it off of that thing. <laughs> that's okay. Um, but yeah. So the, in, <laughs> could actually put it up there and that's, film it. That's actually a really good point. But um, so yeah, I my problem isn't the tattoo within itself. My problem are not a problem because again, it's your hand, so you can do whatever you want. But um, I stop doing weird shit to the mic. Sorry. <laughs> Um, I just think that you're beautiful and you have beautiful hands. And, um, even though. Oh, will it bum you out? No, I, well, I mean. I, I won't do you it. You have the other one. <laughs> you have the other hand still. No, no, no. Honestly. No, no, no. If, if, you, if you're, if you. No, if you, no. I mean, that's, no. No, because I can get it. I, I can get it somewhere else. That's not an issue. <laughs> I, I didn't think you would mind. No, I no. You'd be and and I don't really mind. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, that's. <laughs> a, <laughs> I don't really mind. I mean, I kind of mind, but I, I mean, it's not a deal. No, it, no, no, no. Honestly, no, if you no, don't no. like it. No, I, again, it's just one of those things where like, again, I think that you are beautiful. I'm going to I'm gonna have to text my sister and say, my wife won't let me get. See? I wouldn't even say on I would never. it's just my wife won't. No, 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 no. But no, but you're the one who's got to look at it. <laughs> but again, I just think that. Um, I, again, I don't know how to phrase this because we're just if talking about it now. This is my, fir- my first. If it was up to you, that's a no. That's a hard <laughs> no right there. If it was up to me, I would not have you. Okay, I'll get tattoo. it somewhere else. But, but again, I don't like, you're beautiful and I don't mind. And I'm it's your beautiful. body. I'm old. So I would like, and you, I know that you wouldn't care wherever I get anything tattooed on my body. So I don't feel like. No, you but know. that's not. But that's not how shit works. See, I, I don't know. like that. I don't like that. It's well, no. I d- it's like we've talked about this. Like, I don't think the rules always have to be the same for everybody. If something <laughs> doesn't bother me, I can do what I want, but you do- can't get a hand yeah, tattoo. <laughs> it, it, if something doesn't bother me, it doesn't mean it shouldn't bother you. Does right. that make sense? It's like if I'm okay drinking out of the milk jug out of the refrigerator, <laughs> which I don't do, but if I was, I, I do drink out of the cranberry juice jug. Right. Um, but you weren't okay with it. I don't, I don't like the argument of like, well, it doesn't bother me. What is it? I mean, right. things are different. So if you don't like, if, if that would not be fun for you or you don't like it, I'd rather you tell me because it's not so important to me. Well, I thought it was important to you. Like we've talked about it before that you want one. You've wanted one for a long time. No, I'm, so... I'm totally lying. <laughs> it's very important to me. Exactly. But but, but not a... it's not important enough to me to get it if you don't if you're right. not into it. But the like, verse that's not... the verse of that is that I think that the what of that? The converse? The converse? Inverse? Inverse? Reverse. Whatever. Just the verse. The, you know what? The, the bridge. Other... <laughs> Fuck that hurt. <laughs> um, I think that it's more important to you to have the tattoo than it's it's less important for me for you to not have it, if that makes sense. Yeah, but... Like, I, I don't feel so strongly that I'm going to be like, oh my God, I really wish you wouldn't do that. Absolutely not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that for me, you are physically... Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just smacked the mic. Smack the mic. Um, that 
I love you and I find you very physically attractive and I love your hands. And so you're going to cover said hands. So, but, I but they I will still be beautiful. That, You'll still right? be beautiful right? and you will still, still be you and I will still love you. So it, well, I, it I, that's is awesome. <laughs> not but, as important to me as it is to you. So therefore we should do that because many, again, it is many, your body. So. How many uh, texts and tweets and Instagram messages, <laughs> messages do you think we're going to get? Bro, she's not into it. <laughs> How many? I, I would no. say, I'm, I'm going to no. say, what's the over under on 20? No, I don't know. I say 20. I, well, what's really funny is I thought we'd get a whole bunch of messages and texts about the whole mall thing we talked about, but I didn't get any. Oh, well, I got, I, I, we did get an email. Oh, okay. Uh, was it Cheeto Bandito? It was. Oh, awesome. And awesome. Cheeto uh, <laughs> gave us their, um, their favorite. Yes. Awesome. Mall foods. Ah, that's great. And I meant to bring it up and I don't. I don't have a phone. Oh, I guess I can use that overpriced. Well, your phone's right there. Oh. <laughs> your phone and your overpriced tablet's right there. So, but anyway, so what I'm saying is you should do it. I was actually going to wait to fine. do it to do Cheeto Bandito till next week because I figured other people would send. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that sure, was, sure. But Good point. Yeah. We can and read I think I got, other people's I think we got fi- favorite fives next week. One other. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, but. <laughs> Cheeto Bandito ma- matters more than obviously. Yeah, um, <laughs> he was on top of it, which I like quite a bit. So no, no, but I don't have to. I don't have no. to. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. It'll be all right. I mean, yeah. I guess if you if you really want to, I mean, I'll support you. Well, that's what it on. sounds like. Come on. It's fine. You can be honest. You can be like, no. This I'd is ra- me being honest. I'd rather you say this is my I, honest I don't reaction. Want you this to is get my. It. You, you saw my honest reaction in real time right now. I'd, so. I'd, I'd rather you say, oh, we need some of those things too, to hold up those what? things we talked about, the sticky things for the oh, yeah, yeah. cables. The time mounts. Yeah. Sticky back time mounts. Got it. Um, I'll get some. I'd rather you just say, no, I'm, I'm really not into it. Then you can do it if you want. I don't feel that strongly about it. All right. Because once it's there. I totally understand. Although I could wear makeup over it. Yeah. But I mean, that's silly. I guess. I don't know. Be you, sunshine. <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> what did you say? Literally? Literally. literally. Sorry. Um, Why we're talking about you, we should talk about the fact that you um, were on an episode of our liner notes. Our. Our liner notes, which came out this past week. Listen to the first half. What'd you think? It was hilarious. <laughs> I'm the worst <laughs> podcast guest ever. I think that from now on, the next time that you're on, they have to tell you the songs you can't pick. They probably should. <laughs> I'm the, so what's really funny is there's... Or, I, or you have to go back and listen to the episodes that you've been on so you know not to pick those songs I don't. I don't want to mention the podcast, but I'm, I'm supposed to be a guest on this other podcast. But mm-hmm. because my work schedule has been so crazy lately and I've got that special project... I've been flaking a bunch Mm -hmm. on the podcast, so I don't know if it's If they still want you. (laughs) Yeah, I I, I wouldn't want me at this point. But um, it it has to do with with music and innuendo. And I'm I'm just not mentioning the podcast because I don't know. I don't want to upset anybody. That'd be so much fun for you. You should do it. But guess the song song I picked. Cherry Pie? (laughs) (laughs) Heaven forbid. Pretty pretty much for Matt. You you have a zone. You have a zone. So... um, (laughs) But to that end, I, I would like you to talk about your experience, but also the fact that uh, the first half of the episode is out this week and the second half will be out next week. So mm-hmm. if you guys want to check it out, my experience our on the pod, liner notes, our liner notes, my experience on the pod. Mm-hmm. Um, so you guys, people know, go ahead. I was saying, I know that you guys um, personally, I know this, you guys are recorded in the morning after the Oregon Ducks game. The next morning? Oh, um, right. Yes, right. The next okay. morning. So yes. that within itself was amazing. I think you... we were supposed to record like at ten or eleven in the morning. You guys, I was up at like four thirty. Yeah, setting Matt up. Matt woke up like twenty minutes <laughs> before. He's like, I didn't expect to see sleep so late, and I'm like, I am so jealous of how late you can sleep. <laughs> yeah. I may have the time wrong, which is hilarious because no, I'm no, gonna get a text from you... Matt going, That's "Dude, not... I woke up at nine thirty. What are you talking? You don't about? know me. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Give me back my purse. You're not my real dad. Yeah. Um. So. But I remember you telling me that you guys were going to record around 10, but I think you finally started recording like at 1030 or something after you got set up and checked and Mike and and, and chatting and you had to make some drinks. Yeah. 
Anyway, um, that's so, my that's my side of series of events. <laughs> I've talked about it on the podcast before. I don't have a lot of friends. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. And, I don't either. And I get it's okay. <laughs> I get super attached to the friends that I do have. Like yeah. I'm, I'm an I get annoyingly attached. Right, you're all in. You're all in on your friends. Yeah, I, I know it fries my friends' tree. I think the only friend that it doesn't fry is Heno. Mm -hmm. I think Heno really appreciates. I don't know if he really appreciates it, <laughs> but I think he appreciates the fact that like well, he think, knows how much I love him. Right. You know, the other friend that I think gets it is Nate. Um, mm -hmm. Right. Like like Nate and Heno aren't weird if I send them a text just saying, hey, thinking about you, I love you. Mm -hmm. Like that's not weird. Right. Also, my culture, the Argentinian culture um, they're way more touchy feely. Yeah, it's not weird to like hold hands with another dude, like ju who's just a friend, or tell a dude that you love them. It's not, it's not a, not a gay thing. It's right. not a, a feminine thing. Not that that's bad. I tell Ninja um, I love her. Yes. So, um, you know, but but I am a little. I'm not. I'm not a like. Even though I'm into like dudesly dude stuff, mm -hmm. I'm not a total <laughs> dudesly dude guy. Right. right. Like. I like my friends to feel good. I'm not one of those. Uh, what, like, I don't. I don't find fun. I mean, it's always fun to give your friends a hard time every now and then. I give Matt right Absolutely. shit endless. All the you time. give Matt endless amounts of shit. <laughs> but I will always be way more appreciative and say way right. more like stuff about how, like when when Matt and I have our 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 weekends together and do that. I'm mm -hmm. always telling him how much you appreciate I him and, like being yeah. there and I like being there with him. To the point that I think it's uncomfortable. Like I think for him, <laughs> like, it, okay. it gets to be like, yeah, dude. I, okay, I get it. Like I we're not too. getting Let's naked just, together. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what give, you're give, after. Give that shit a rest. No, but you are very much a person that wants the people that you love to know that you love them, mm -hmm. which is great. So, and I don't have a lot of people like that. Right. So when when I record with Matt and Chris, even though I don't know Chris very well, I I I have an for me. I am attached to Chris. Right. In a because way that Chris so <laughs> is not attached to me. <laughs> and that's nothing bad. That's just the way right, that right. it is. But I get so into it and have right. such a good time. And, and like my heart swells with spending the time with those guys right. that it's it, I. I, I love it. Right. I absolutely love it. Well, that's what was one of the great things about when you Even were Even though all, I don't prepare at all. Right. And don't put it's, it's any not, effort into the actual the podcasting. It's not a lack of caring about you dudes. It's just how Neil podcasts. And if you ask Neil a podcast with you, that's what you're going to get. And it's actually how I do a, a, a lot of stuff. <laughs> right. Like, I, I know a lot about podcasting, but right. when it comes to the actual single event- Right. Like, I'm, no, I'm just, well, yeah, I mean, I'm just riding on talent, bro. <laughs> That's it, man. I'm just, just going off. Fly. Yeah. Gotta let it roll. I mean, if I, if I actually off took time to do this, <laughs> yeah, probably pretty, be pretty good at right. it. But, uh, yeah. So, but I mean, it makes sense. Anyway, it's a fun, uh, listen, if you guys are into that sort of thing, music and dudes. I love that. <laughs> Talk about how much I love these guys. And then you're like, yeah, it's fun. Listen. But anyway, uh, yeah, do what you What are you talking do. about? I just talked about how great I I'm thought just, you, oh my gosh. I'm wow. just yanking on your mic, bro. <laughs> wow. But no, I had a I had a great time. Uh recording was fun. Um uh <laughs> you just blanked. There out. was no, there was <laughs> I, I I made a joke uh to Chris and I don't think he actually uh got what I was saying when I said it. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> there was that weird, uncomfortable feeling. Like, I'm like there's awkward pause. I, I think he I don't. I think he may have taken that the wrong way, but I right. didn't want to explain it. I'm not going to explain it now because at this point, I don't think. Again, it's something like I think about. Right. He probably. He's if he listens listens to this episode, he's probably like, I don't know what, what the talking hell about? he's talking right, right. about. Right. Now. Well, also, I think I'll, he was the one like doing their recording and posting of that show, so he probably was like. Mostly listening, but also checking levels and, you know, they they have a new dog and kids and, you know, there's other stuff going on. So I'm sure yeah. that he was like, probably got it. But then he was like, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> anyway. But but it was it was a, a lot of fun. I I hope uh, when we get together next year, we record. Do more. that again. Yeah. yeah. I know we, we actually talked. and I think it comes out in the second part because it was towards the end. And I don't know if it's going to be part of the podcast. 
but we we talked about um, a specific genre mm-hmm. of music, and I'm like, if we do this, right. I will I, actually do the I work promise because to prepare. this sounds thrilling to me. Um, which I think would be awesome if they're like, yeah, and then we go and record and, and you they're didn't like, prep. no, no, no. Oh, even they didn't better. prep. No, even better. They're like, no, we're not doing that. We're doing these songs. And I'd be like, yeah, all right. Fair <laughs> enough. I get it. That's pretty funny. Yeah. So <clears throat> did I answer the question? You did. And also uh, to go along with that, since we're talking about music, I should I mention your Tesla discovery. Was the discovery Tesla mu? Oh, the Tesla music. Yeah. Well, we knew about this when we got. Yeah, them. but we never. I I never turned it on though. I never so, even played with it before you mentioned it. Tesla has a deal with a streaming music company. Um, Not sure which one. Well, I think it's called Live Now. N- now it is. It was called something else before. I think now it's called Live Now, and you can mm-hmm. actually subscribe to them. I, oh, okay. I had no I idea. Did. Uh, I usually use Amazon Music because we have Amazon Prime. We get Amazon Music. And the station I listen to mostly is called Shine. It's the Shine Down station from the band Shine Down. Mm-hmm. And it has, so it, it's in that genre, right? So it's like Shine Down, Three Days Grace, Theory of a Dead Man, Theory of a Dead Man, uh, Avenged Sevenfold. I mean, it, it does have a lot 6 a.m., 6 a.m., um, Buck Cherry. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, well, they I'm, get it. I'm trying to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, it, it, that genre, Breaking Benjamin, that right. stuff. Uh, well, I, I guess now would be considered hard rock, which is really funny because right. for me, hard rock was was like really heavy or stuff. Much heavier, it's yeah. Not, um, so Tesla has it, one of their stations is called Hard Rock. And I'm like, cool. I was driving to work in the morning. I was listening to a book um, and I got, I got frustrated with the book, <laughs> as you know. <laughs> right. And I'm like, I, I can't. And you need a break. so I wanted just to play music, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to fiddle with my phone to try and get Amazon or Apple or anything up. So I put on the Tesla hard rock freaking amazing. Yeah. Freaking amazing. Mm-hmm. Their hard rock station not only has the new stuff, like I just mentioned, but it goes, it goes back. It yeah. had like edema corn. I mean, bands that you, I didn't even, haven't even thought about for right. a while. And like, I've been listening to it now, usually half of my drive home and to work. My drive is about an hour or two and from work. So about 30 minutes a day for the last couple of weeks. And only one song has repeated so far. Right. That's pretty Which good. is almost annoying because I'm like, <laughs> what? And they don't necessarily play like all the hits. So like they'll play Highly Suspect and it won't be the three songs that everybody right. knows right. Highly Suspect played. Freaking amazing. And right. it sounds great. It does. It sounds really good. Um, I was going to say on your recommendation, I have also been listening to it. Uh, I do the same thing where I do a partial drive in and partial drive out because um, I that the road that I take to get to work is that windy road in the middle of nowhere. And I do not get cell phone coverage from the slightly after I leave the freeway until I get to work. But isn't it weird how Tesla gets coverage? I was just going to say that. So it's about... I. For those of you who know, I have been worked at the same place for a very long time. So I have Skywalker Ranch. <laughs> I have Lucas clocked the exact <laughs> amount of oh, that's them. how we afford this shit. <laughs> I have clocked the exact amount of time it takes me to get from the freeway to the front door, and it's fourteen minutes. So on a good day, and so for those fourteen minutes, I do not get internet coverage. However, if I have preloaded, if I take the time, which I don't always do, and then when it my stuff cuts out, I get frustrated that I didn't bother taking the time to preload a podcast or something like that. Um, but Amazon Music will cut out like right after the freeway. And I'm like, fucker. But Tesla Music will stay on almost the entire time. It has cut out once or twice. Yeah. But um, for the most part, it is on the entire time, which is epic for me because literally during those 15 minutes unless i take the time to preload a podcast or something like that i have silence for those which is fine but not my you know especially if you were like in the middle of like listening to something and then just cuts off and you're like oh fucking hell (laughs) so um it's been really great and so i've been listening to the 90s alternative channel Mm -hmm. and the same thing i have not yeah yeah. right (laughs) you know me (laughs) it's my fave um and as you say, I Is not there the only... the Jim Blossoms on there? We can ha- drive around this town. I haven't heard that song yet. However... I hate jealousy. It's been... Is that the 90s? That was still that the is, 90s, Yeah, that's right? still the 90s. And, um, but it's been a whole range of bands from Corn um, 
to um Oh my gosh. Feeling like a freak on a leash. <laughs> but it didn't play their hit. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. It didn't play the hit. And then some Nirvana, There's they played Nirvana a couple of times, one hit, one not hit, you know? Um, but it's been great. And it goes back and forth. Um, like at one point it, it played the... Um, <sighs> you know it hasn't played Belinda on... Carlisle. Nice. So it goes back and forth between like um, heavier and lighter because since it's like... The, yeah, not, it's everything. 90s alternative. Yeah, is, so yeah. the Smiths, the Cure, Depeche Mode, and Corn. You know, I'm like, sure, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, so which is 90s which alternative? Is great. Yeah. Exactly. So well, it's I been, wanna, a, it's been some, a lot of fun. You're it's get been some a lot of fun. Eve Six in there. That means I got one. I got yeah. one. Um, what's really hilarious oh. is that I went to change. I, my pride. <laughs> I tried um, the. I think it's alternative hits. I didn't like that as much, so I went back. I was going to go back to 90s alternative, and it accidentally hit the button under it. And it was um, new dance, and I'm just like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah, they they have. Um, I can't. It wasn't wait to, bad, but I was like, "Oh no!" I can't wait to get into their reggae station. Yeah. So, so, so thank you. Yeah, it's, thank you it, for you, and thank you for me. I mean, say what you will about Elon Musk and all that, but they've done this Tesla thing quite right. Fucking Teslas, man! They, I am a hundred percent in. They've done it right. Hundred percent in. <laughs> all in. Anyway, buy more so, of them. <laughs> No more. Have them no stacked. more. <laughs> um, did you want to talk about your dinner with your parents this week? Because uh, we you haven't can. you haven't told me about it. I was saying since we were on Tesla, I was going to talk about my stupid Tesla. Oh, please wheels. do. Please talk about your stupid Tesla wheels. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so um uh I painted my Tesla wheels, the actual wheel, not the arrow covers. I painted them black. Mm-hmm. I hydro uh hyper dipped them, and they looked amazing. And then with all the storms, I guess I guess I had a blemish in one of them, and so one little right. corner started to lift. It just and, takes one little rock and, and then a whole bunch can, of rain. <laughs> and you can fix that, but right. I decided I'm going to pull them all off because if I'm going to repaint, redip one, I'm going to redip them all. Right. Um, but I decided I one of the things I want to do is put the aero covers back on. Now the Tesla. Aero covers that you see, if you pull those off, there are actual really decent looking rims underneath. But the aero covers actually will give you a little longer range. Mm-hmm. And I thought, well, I'd like to see just to check it out because yeah. I've never driven the Tesla with the aero covers. I want to see what what the range is. And I thought, well, I'll just paint the freaking aero covers. Right. Well, and you're now, curious. You want to know what the difference is if it's really the three percent. I'm like fucking with shit. Yeah, you you very much do. So, <laughs> and I thought, well. Painting the arrow covers because they're they're like a gray color, they're almost like an anthracite, almost the color of the rims underneath. Right. You could paint those. Or I've never or heard the word dip. anthracite. Is that Hi- a gray? Yes, it's a dark, dark gray with a tiny bit of blue. Oh. Okay. Um, you can is my understanding of the, I, of the color. I think anthracite <clears throat> might be a thing. Is it too. a process? No, I think anthracite. Oh. It sounds like it's a rock. Oh, it, maybe. You know what? I'm just going to say it's a rock for sure. 100%. Sure. It sounds like a rock. 100%. The rock. <laughs> and yeah, the rock is kind of an anthracite color. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. And um, so obviously if you paint these arrow covers black, they would probably look pretty good. We have white Teslas. Right. And something inside me decided that I'm going to hyper dip. Hyper dip is the new version of plastic dip. Right. Just so people... Yeah, that people that know what I'm talking about, great. People that don't, don't worry about it. It's just like a, a rubber coated spray paint. Yeah, basically, he's painting his rims or right. wheels. I'm not the covers. I decided to go ahead and hyper dip <laughs> them white. Yeah, the same color as the car. Right. Not a good move. <laughs> I, I knew it wasn't a good idea to start with, but I figured I wanted to try it. I wanted to see what it was like. But so what's really like white rally rims are very popular in rally cars. Right. So, I don't know if people know this, but when you drive on the highway, it's not a rally race. So right. really you don't need re- white rims. So also that. Yeah. But um, so I think that other things that people may or may not know about you is that you love color and you love um Bright colors? Yes. My favorite colors. Are, uh, well, my favorite color is actually <clears throat> black and purple. Right. But I love stuff that's lime green, like right. candy apple electric green. Yes. And I love like safety orange. And you have mentioned before about possibly making lime green wheels. Yes. Which, of which I, I was can do. opposed to. Yes. 
because obnoxious. But I also said, hey, if you want to try it. Yeah. I mean, you, the, the cool thing about this plastic dip stuff is you do it, you can pull it off. Right. Your rims are fine. And it's not super it's expensive. It's not a permanent thing. Yeah. No. But, but and again, you love to fiddle. So. I I, but I did the white on the arrow covers. Mm-hmm. It oh, doesn't, God. It's, it's one of those things, as I said, can you check him? Yeah, he's fine. Um. I Quattro's in here with us. Well, I think I thought bottom. I heard him got a little piece. That's why I was asking. But um, so I don't hate it. It's I don't really like looking. it. No, I don't like but it. But I don't hate it. It's very unique. <laughs> People are not going to like it. No, everyone's going to hate it. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to put them on for a while and see how it goes. Right. And see how I feel about it. And then I'll probably end up Test it out. painting them black. And then right. when I need new tires, I'll probably just buy black rims. Right. But But it's fun. It's fun, but it, it is not correct. It is not right. People should not. I love do this. that you know that already, oh, and yeah. you haven't even put them on yet. No, as soon as I started, I'm like, no, no. no. People are going to hate this. They're going to see it and be like, dude. But really, I, you're that guy. I bought the paint, so we're in. in you're it. that guy. I'll be like, I'm 100 percent that guy. We're Have gonna, you heard the podcast? I'm totally that guy. We're going to finish this process. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And again, you like to do that stuff, so you might as well finish it and see how it goes. You might. I mean, I don't know that you will love it on, but oh, you never I will. Know. I will not. You never know. No, you must. It, gonna, it you is. Know. It is not. You will live with it for a look. while, or you'll just hate it immediately. And no, I'll like, hate okay, it immediately. Rip it off <laughs> and, and, and buy some black, and then do that and be like, all right. So next fair weekend, enough. we report back on the black paint. <laughs> on the black. Well, no, I, I'm not putting them on until next weekend because I actually right. You have, you have to, to take pull the off the wheels, wheels yeah. off to pu- punch out the center caps. Right. Well, anyway, hilarious. Because when I. When we got our cars, I didn't. I wanted them to look right. cool, so I pulled off those arrow wheels and bought right center different center caps because Which that's what people do. I appreciate because yeah. I don't really like the arrow caps myself. No, I get it. You don't like the white. I, mean, I, I was going to do that for your car. No, too. no, no, no. You weren't. Stop it. No, I, <laughs> I don't like the gray or the white. I don't like the arrow caps at all. No. They're plastic. I it's, know they serve a purpose, but they look and feel cheap, and I don't like it. No, they they look really, and and when they're painted white, they look cheaper. They just look like <laughs> cheap plastic <laughs> covers. It's hilarious. Oh. You they might, look like those old fake spinner plastic mm, wheels that people yeah, put something like mount. That, yeah. oh, oh. They're terrible. Well, people are going to hate it. They're going to see my car. And now go, you need a picture. You what? need a picture. Oh, I'll put one up once yeah. they're on. But it's <laughs> terrible. It, it doesn't look as bad as I thought. Well, again, as I said, I don't hate it. I don't like it. It just doesn't look But good. I don't hate it. Yeah, but it doesn't look as bad. <laughs> yeah. I thought it I would hate terrible. it. I yeah, thought it would be like, terrible. oh my God. But I don't think that. Yeah. I um, I think it's ridiculous, but so, I don't think, oh my God, how horrible. A friend of ours, um, V, V, mm. graphic novice, V, um, v, V, S, no, V, what was graph? Yeah, I need to think about that for a second. V, I, I know who you're talking about. I don't want to say the real name. Right, right, right. But um, the the partner spouse of mm-hmm. V. Right. I'll think of G? it. We'll probably think VS? of it. We'll VT? think of it as soon as we stop recording. V, B, B, C, V, T, V, E, V, F, V, F. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, um, uh, they purchased a Tesla. Right, they got a black one, and and she so, had reached out to you to ask you some questions. Yeah, before. yeah, yeah. Uh, and so I actually uh, messaged them today earlier and said, "Hey, I'm, I'm I have this terrible idea. <laughs> I'm going to paint. I, I said paint. Right. Uh, they know what plastic dip is. But, right. Uh, my arrow wheels white. Haven't heard." <laughs> <laughs> that's funny and so yeah. yeah he's an engineer of some sort i think so he probably knows exactly what you're talking about yeah well and and she 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 does too because when we when she was looking at the tesla and i said i i did do my wheels black and she said oh did you use plastic dip so oh she knew. okay yeah cool cool very cool which was very cool <laughs> she's a cool lady they're both she's cool a nice people. Lady. Yeah, they're very nice people. She's such a pretty lady. <laughs> um, I don't know what time it is. Do what time do we, we need to do our favorite five? Oh, now. Yeah. Okay. Um, so if you guys listened to our last week's episode, we got into a discussion about '90s food court, '90s malls food. Co- nope. Help me phrase that better. We were talking about food court. We we're trying to figure out about Paradise Bakery because we, when we worked in malls, we were saying there was this place we went and right. got half a sandwich and a salad or half a sandwich and right. a soup, and it was amazing. Right, and we couldn't and we think of the name. Out, but and then, then we you thought came of it. out. You said it would be kind of fun to do our five favorite mall foods. Yes. Um, food, well, 
I, I, food I, court. I, I, I personally um, put it to the food court, but I don't mind if you expand to like any place that was in the mall. Well, I've only but worked it has at, to be like a place that you've at, actually been right. to. You know? I've only worked at one mall, mm-hmm. and all of the places were in, in the one, food right. court. Like like C's candy and all that was still in the. Food. Oh really? It mine was, mine was not. So it was it was kind of like like it was it you know you'd walk this mm-hmm. way and there was C's and then you make the corner and right. there was a whole food so it was part of the food food court. Right. It wasn't like it was the only one that was out of the way was Gloria Jean's Coffee Bean mm-hmm. that was and the Pretzel Place that was on its own. Right. Um, but everything else. And neither of those are on my list. Okay. I was going to, I almost put one on my list that was also opposite. So like we were, um, you know how like they're, they call them anchor stores, the Mm -hmm. big department stores. Sears, Emporium, Macy's, Nordstrom's. Right. So at my mall. the International (laughs) Gifts. I worked at two malls. I worked at my hometown mall. And I also worked at um, the mall that I worked at in LA when the I Galleria. lived there. <laughs> it wasn't the Galleria. It was uh, Woodland Hills. That's actually mall. a mall people like to work I at. I know. It's kind of funny. Say they worked at the Galleria. Um, and it's a garbage mall. It is kind of. But uh, yeah, so the two there, there was three anchor stores at the mall that I worked at in LA. It was um, the Emporium Capital slash Macy's that I worked at. The Nordstrom was at the complete opposite end of the mall. And so like... Um, you like, in, if you only had a half hour or 15 minute break, you didn't have enough time to get to Nordstrom's and back. And so, and then halfway through, um, the mall, there was a Sears. And, um, so, but the Nordstrom's and not all Nordstrom's have this, but that Nordstrom's had a cafe at the top on the top floor. Um, it was a two story mall. And so the top floor had a, uh, in the, in the corner had a really cool cafe and it was really good. However, I didn't go there very often because it was a sit down place. Like you actually, you went in and you ordered at the it was counter. A, it was a restaurant. Yeah, basically. But you ordered at the counter and, but you had a server. So, but and it was always kind of busy because not only did people come in there for lunch, like a lot of business people and all the people that worked in the mall would go there and all that. So it would take a little bit too long. Like I had to have a full hour to go there. But I was going to say, I didn't make it on my list, but I wanted to mention it because um, I don't know if that's very common. I don't know that the uh, there's Nordstrom's one the Nord- Cafe. Yeah, there's still one in the Nordstrom's in near us. Uh-huh. At Cormac, they have one. Oh, do they? Okay. Yeah. that's Actually, it, and it, that's actually a full restaurant. Okay. So it's yeah. like a full service. Okay. Well, that's very cool. But it was one of my favorite places to go. But again, it was more like a treat because it was a little bit, it wasn't very expensive, but it was a little pricier than like the food court, obviously. And it took longer. So. Anyway, okay. So I don't have mine in any real order, so I'm going to go like five to one, but it doesn't mean one is like, I mean, it's freaking mall food. So. <laughs> um, I did. You want to go first so or I you want to go last? My favorite five food courts. Um, I will go first, if okay. that's okay with yeah. you. I did put mine in um, order. Sure. And um, this one's going to make it really funny because I don't know the name of it because mm-hmm. it's been so long I don't remember the name, but it was a generic burger place and it, it wasn't a chain it was like its own little thing and um the burgers weren't great but they weren't bad and you could get like their meal combo and i think it was at the time again people this was a really long time ago so it was like 4.99 you know so it was like burger fries and a coke for like 4.99 and um i didn't have it all the time but it was definitely like if you're feeling like fries in a burger, like, oh, this place, you know, it's because it was it was good. It was better than fast food, but not as good as like a really nice burger. But I so I just called it no name burger because like in my head and I tried to look it up. I did actually try to look these up to like confirm that I had in my memory that they were there and all of that. And I wasn't confusing it with something else. But um, yeah, it was like this random no name burger place, but it was good. And I, you know, would have it fairly often. So well, my uh, my number five, mm-hmm. I can't comment on that too much since I don't know right. the burger place. My number five was Mrs. Fields Cookies. Ah, so you just have a cookie? <laughs> yeah. And they also, their no soda giant fountain cookies. drinks were cheaper than anywhere else. Oh. So if you went there, oh. yeah. But their cookie, I, I was, as you know, I'm a sweets guy. Yeah, so. right. So that was number five. You know, what's funny is um, I would uh, occasionally get a cookie from there, but I would never get a drink from there. I wonder why. Um, also, the- well, who the hell gets a Coke and a cookie? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but they also had other stuff. Mm-hmm. They didn't just have cookies, but I went there for the Coke and the cookie. Right. I have to say that um, 
as someone, again, who didn't make a ton of money and lived in LA, you know, like in an apartment, had to support herself, Mm -hmm. I would get little tricks to do like, um, I would take, I would bring my own canned soda or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, And so, um, um, so I would bring like, you know, like I bring like a little, <laughs> like a little backpack or whatever. And so like in my backpack would be like a can of Coke or whatever. And so I'd go to the food court and I'd buy lunch, but I wouldn't buy a drink unless it came with a drink, of course. And then I would, you know, just pull out my can of Coke <laughs> or whatever. But, um, and then obviously like occasionally I would bring lunch. So I didn't, it's not like I ate at the food court every day. I think I, um, I probably worked three or four days a week. A little over, uh, it wasn't quite full-time, but I wasn't part-time either. And so um, I would bring food sometimes, often, and, and all the times too, like as most people who've ever worked at a mall know, you don't always work like an eight-hour shift. Sometimes your shift's only four hours, so you don't have to bring anything. So sometimes I would bring like just a can of Coke in my backpack or something like that. So anyway, I would very often provide my own soda. So yes. I have no idea. How? Mrs. Fields cookies. <laughs> I did not know that styrofoam they had. Cup. Oh yeah, terrible. All right, what's okay. your number four? Hot dog on a stick, baby. Nice. Oh, I love then, and I love now. Did you like the lemonade? Love me a corn dog. Oh, I love the love the lemonade, strawberry lemonade. I would always get They'd that make one. Make it fresh. You'd yep. see them. Oh, yep. Those poor girls. Um, but yeah, I. I did yours not? I very men? much. I never saw a man there. Oh really? I always saw a cute. It was always cute girls. But yeah. Maybe that's Ours had dudes. maybe just maybe that's With just that the, stupid the manager's choice, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I like a corn dog and some again, some uh if you guys don't know but this about me, Neil already knows this. I really like my corn dogs and my hot dogs fairly plain. Like I don't want a lot of shit on them. I just sometimes a little bit of mustard on the side, that's it. But on the side. And that's it. But hot dog on a stick for sure. My number four was Orange Julius. Oh, yeah? Did you I have a Julius? I the Orange Julius, and they had really good fries, those potato wedge fries oh, that they put yeah. in that stupid, heady microwave thing. <laughs> really the good. first version and, of the convection my, oven. <laughs> my favorite was like the strawberry Julius mm-hmm. or the raspberry Julius. It was so much better. Yeah. So much better. That freaking would, fake egg powder they'd put in there. <laughs> I would get that occasionally, but uh, our Orange Julius, I don't think was in... No, it was in the food court. I just didn't go there very often because I didn't... Um, but again, I would go there because I wanted the food and not necessarily the drink, right? you know? So, um, so my number three, and this is gonna, this is a a side story crack up, um, is little Caesars. Cause now that I think about it, I've worked at three malls. (laughs) Oh, okay. (laughs) I've worked at three different malls at different times and all at very different times of my life as well. So, um, but Little Caesars, where I worked um, when I was the customer service manager at a Ross Dress for Less, mm, very in nice. Portland, Oregon, yeah. um, they had a Little Caesars in the mall. And so, and their little food cart thingy. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> but, right? so, Caesars yeah, pizza pizza, 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 pizza. But I didn't get the pizza because um, they don't. What else do they have? Breadsticks. Oh, right. You could get their uh, breadsticks with the dipping sauce and a Coke for like $3. And so again, you know, poor poor girl who loves carbs, <laughs> and it, and and the breadsticks are pretty big. So you could get the six pack of breadsticks with the sauce and a coke, and it was like three dollars. And I would do that, to be completely honest with you, way more often than I should have. Nice. <laughs> you should not just have um, six breadsticks for lunch. That should not be like a thing. That- Sparrows had decent <laughs> decent breadsticks too. You know, I don't know that I. I'm sure I probably did, but I don't remember the Sabara breadsticks. That's not why I went there. <laughs> All right, my are we ready? I was just I was just gonna say that I occasionally have a slice of pizza at Caesars, but that's not why I went there. <laughs> uh, my number three Chinese Combo King. That was the name of the place in our mall uh, that served quote unquote Chinese right. food. I don't think it tasted like Chinese food. Mm-hmm. But it was really good right. and really cheap. Yes. So can I hop on yours? Sure. My number two is Chinese combo. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Yeah. But mine was Chinese. the flaming walk. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah. Uh, no, ours was actually called Chinese combo. King. That's as it should be. Yeah. Right. But again, um, be, and they'd only know. have like five things every day, and it would change. They always had chow mein, mm-hmm. and they always had sweet and sour pork. But aside from that. 
Good yeah, luck. you're you're, you're right. You're, beef. You know what? You're totally right. So Sometimes they would have they'd have the chicken. fried rice and they have the thing of chow mein and they then have like three dishes mm-hmm. and also egg rolls. Mine yeah. always had egg rolls. Egg rolls and and a soup. Right. But it was they had one spicy thing and then they had like two other things. Right. That's exactly but, right. Yeah. Um. So I would always get the combo because. Um, and please correct me if you did this differently. But so I would get that on days that I knew I needed dinner or I needed dinner tomorrow or something. And it was like, you know, five ninety nine for like the big combo where you got a little bit of chow mein, a little or, bit of rice well, and like two sides. We're the same Just, age, but you were in L.A. L.A., a, yeah. Well, but Marin isn't cheap. But I think I think for me it was three ninety nine. Oh, maybe. But I, think I don't I've, remember what I got because I was always hungover. So <laughs> that's all I know. But so so but it but I could never finish it because again I think you know I was nineteen and I weighed like a hundred and ten pounds at the time so I don't think that I I ate yeah, like a little a bit of, of it. They, they gave you a lot. That's they did. Why they I did. Think and mall if, employees went there. Right. I For, think they made their money on mall employees, not people that went right. to the mall. Well, I think that also you become friendly and they recognize you and they're and they're always like hi how are you and I'm like oh hi how are you doing it you know. Again, because I see them, you know, yeah. once a week or every now and then or whatever. But um, so, yeah, I would just get that. And then I would eat probably not even half. And then I would have lunch or dinner for the Remember next Prince like two Plus? days. Yes. 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 Just go in there and look at the yep. posters. Yep. Yeah. Uh, um, and the mall that I started working at when I was 15, um, there was a really cute guy that works at the. This is hilarious, right? So the, who worked at the Prince Plus? It and was. He said, "Do you want to go out?" And he said, "Yes." And you're like, "Sorry, bro, <laughs> I'm just taking a poll, man." <laughs> That's not what happened. Um, but what's really funny is every girl employee who worked in the mall had a crush on him. Sure. And so, and since I worked at which is uh, the etc., et which is basically Claire's mm-hmm. boutique, that it was a, a Claire's boutique. Um, version and a different company bought it, et cetera, and became something else. But, um, so I, I, and so the girls would always like again because it's all like jewelry and like makeup and accessories. So they would all come over and be like, "Oh my god, did you see that guy?" And they were just like, they would always just like, "Oh, I heard that so and so went out with him," or all you know. And, and I'm like, and at that at that time, I'm like 15, 16, and I'm pretty. I'm, I don't know exactly how old he was, but he was probably really like 19 or something like that. And we we're like, ooh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway. What was your number three? Uh, my number three was Little Caesars. Oh, well, that was so. There? So you're on number two because I. Got- I'm on, oh, because we piggyback. Yeah. All right. My number two is Paradise Bakery. Oh, we talked awesome. about it last right, week. Right, right, right. But um, you would always get the half sandwich combo like mm-hmm. I did, and yeah. I didn't get it a lot, but I really liked it. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I don't know if it just felt like. I it, don't was know, good. it was weird. It was good. It's okay to yeah. say it was good. No, no, no. I mean, I don't know why I didn't get it more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, Chinese combo. Come on. Yeah. You can't say right. no to Chinese combo. Yeah. Or Mrs. Fields cookies. Right. Well, you also uh, were a pretty good athlete, so you probably were just like burning off that sugar. I don't know if I was a good athlete, but I, I played a lot of sports. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just I'm stop it. At athlete. Yeah. I was, I was doing stuff. Um, <laughs> you were active. So what's your number one? Paradise Bakery. Nice. That's what I had the most. I'd probably have that once a week. So again, I work like three or four days a week. And uh, so I would have probably two days where I would eat lunch in the mall and two days where I didn't, where I would bring something or not eat at all, you know, just for like financial reasons. And also, as I was talking about that, um, you know, sometimes you only work a four hour shift, so you don't get lunch or whatever. And you just take like a soda with you. You know, that's all. But Paradise Bakery was by far my favorite. And uh, I liked it a lot. And I always got the half sandwich and salad always. <laughs> My number one was a little bit of a cheat, but it was in my mall right. since I started okay. working until the end. It, Taco Bell. Oh, I was see. That's the question I actually put it on my notes to ask you. Is that my food court did not have fast food? Mm-hmm. We there, had well, we talked about it. Right. We had a Taco Bell <clears throat> and a McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Right. So, like in the Still, parking lot, oh, I don't think they do anymore. They had like a Red Robin. Yeah. And then across the street, there was a couple of restaurants and across like, again, it was a fairly large mall in a fairly the nice only, part of the town. The only restaurant our mall ever had until this new iteration was Hungry Hunter. The Hungry Hunter. The Hungry Hunter, which was like a hunter's version of Denny's. <laughs> More meat based? Pretty Is that much. what you mean? Yeah. Interesting. I've never heard of that. Mm-hmm. The Hungry Hunter. <laughs> But yeah, so like, um, 
if you um there was a few fast food places close by but they weren't like right there and i don't know if that was uh because Woodland Hills was at that time considered to be like a nice part of LA. And so they didn't allow a lot of that stuff. So I don't know if that was on purpose. Like, I don't know if that's like, you know, like how some malls try to keep certain things out or are in or whatever. They don't do a lot of some fast have, food. Some have rules. Yeah. Like you can't have. Right. The fast food is all kept off site, not on mall grounds kind right. of thing. And again, besides the Nordstrom's Cafe and the food court, um, there wasn't a restaurant, per se. So, but yeah, so. But I would have been great with fast food because that probably would have been faster and cheaper than most of the options, which again, the no-name burger place, I think, was supposed to take the name of like... Yeah, I know we had a burger place came in that was... Well, it was weird for a while, like our mall went through this whole... um, kind of conversion where all of a sudden it was like mom and pop local stores were opening restaurants in the mall. Like we had nothing, no major names, but it was like, you know, Bob's hot dogs. And it's like, <laughs> this is weird. Right. Um, like there was a coffee place in the LA mall that I worked in, but it was not in the food court. It was like halfway down in the seas can there was a seas candy, but it was like on the other side on the upper floor, mm-hmm. like in a corner next to Nordstrom's or something like that. Like they were just it was almost weirdly random. But I'm sure there has to be a food there has to be a mall science to it, right? Like you would think. Like or they just go to the open, I don't know. Well, uh, there probably is a science, but there's probably also like if you're willing to pay our rent, <laughs> right? You open you whatever could, the hell you right, want, right? And we had a tea shop for a while. We go buy <laughs> loose leaf tea. It did not last a long time. Oh my gosh! Remember KB Toys? Oh, I loved KB Toys. Yeah, you know my brother worked at the KB Toys in KB our Toys, home mall. Yeah, Kenny Shoes, Kenny Shoes, yeah, Prince Plus, Prince Regis, Plus. Regis Hair Salon, right? I worked at a Regis mm-hmm. Music Land. Yep. Spencer. Suncoast, Spencer, International Gifts. Uh, uh, Suncoast was my favorite store to shop at. Yeah. Anyway. Sharper, well, <laughs> uh, not Sharper Image. There was a... Anyway. All right. That's that's it. We're done. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, please send us your favorite fives if you're into it or don't if you're not. But I'd be super interested to know because baby of the 90s. So. <laughs> All right, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs>